Hello everybody, this is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. Welcome to my channel. And this is another weekend of perspectives and pouring. Um, right before Britta and I, Lance is gonna take um, this weekend off. He's got a lot of things going on in his personal life. But um, we're gonna cover for him. But right before us, Leslie Onstead, she's going to be doing um, a type of landscape um, using the color art and prism pour um, color. So you may want to turn into her channel right before we start at one o'clock with perspectives and pouring. And um, my, me, I'm going to be doing this um, beautiful um, Gina DeLuca style straight pour with boulder cells. I was very impressed with this one. This is a 14 by 14. And I'll be demonstrating this. And then after I demonstrate this, um, Britta Clayton from Britt Clayton Design, she's gonna be doing a lovely Dutch pour. So there you have it folks, us three, Leslie Onstead, an hour for us, and then it'll be myself, and then followed by me, be Britta Clayton from Britt Clayton Designs. So let's get over to the canvas and see how it developed this wonderful piece. I'm going to call it well, I don't have it. I haven't figured out a name yet, but I will um, in, when I post it on the um, down here below. I'll post the name for it. But if you want to um, give me some ideas, tell me what you think, then I'll see if I can pick out the best ones. Anyway, um, thank you for um, tuning in to Perspectives and Pouring. Okay, so let's get over to the canvas. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Sheldon from Sherlock Art, and I'm going to be doing another um, of the straight pour with the spiral. And so I have a dark base coat, so I put a little bit of black on here to kind of keep the white from showing through because it can be thin. But this is um, uh, the um, violet mixed with a little bit of blue, mixed with a little bit of black. So it got a nice little dark um, richness to it. That's my base coat. And that's um, Liquitex colors mixed with the, uh, and the black that's in it is um, Blick Krill, Blick, Blick Art, Blick Art Black. Okay. Then I have um, Teal by um, Deco Art Extreme Sheen. I have a violet to lighten up some of the violet in it. And that's deco art. That's amethyst. I have uh, copper, deco art extreme sheen. And I have gold, 24 hour carat gold, deco art Americana. So, um, I'm just doing this one as a number two because the second, the first one I did, um, the gold and all didn't show up like I wanted it to. So I'm gonna try this again. And it had a different color base. This base is more of a violet base. So let's put some down to spread around. I'm trying not to lose too much color, but I did put the um, base coat on here because something has to stick to the canvas. And the base coat helps the flow of the paint so it doesn't run off. Let me see, a little bit more, good. And the, uh, even though I don't have um, paint, I mean, black on the canvas, if this thin paint runs over the edge, the black on the canvas won't show up as much as the, uh, if it was white. So that's why I painted the edges of the canvas a darker color. And in this case, it's black since I don't have the purple. 
and you can't scrape it like I did that one side. But fortunately, it did not pull up the black. A little bit more. Let's try not to be wasteful with my colors, with my base coat, because I'm still gonna be using some of it in my cup. And you see a little spot there that this thing like this, spa this spatula I made up, that's what could happen on your corners. So that's why I said, um, it's good to um, paint the edges first. All right, so enough of that. It will self-level. Let me pop some of these uh, bubbles. What's that? So that's going to be a flood coat anyway. It's going to flow right off. And now let me uh, load the cup. So I'm going to do it in front of the camera in my hand. <laughs> so um, it's not sitting down. So I'm going to put a little bit of a base coat in, in the cup first. Like so. Okay, good. Now, starting up high, I want to let it drop down in there. Just use up the rest of that color. Good. The rest of that. Just using up the rest of this color. This violet. Now, the copper. Hopefully, that really will show up. That's why I came from high to let it go down in there. Good. So, that's my cup. Let's do some turning and some pouring. Oh. Uh oh. I cracked my cup on that end, so let me go from this end. I keep losing my center. Here comes that gold. nice for some reason it seems though it seems as if the blue and the purple or the turquoise and the purple always seem to end up in the center I don't know why so let me pick it up and pull it back so that really went off this one side. My 
um, table isn't level, that I can say with full confidence. So I'm gonna bring this back and make that part of the center. Bring that swirl in the middle. Okay, good. So now let me torch it and rock it around. some of those cells grow. I'm looking at it and they are growing, but it's not the prettiest piece. I don't know. Could be extreme sheen, I have no clue. Reacting a lot. And those cells are growing, as you can see. Let's get the turn. Okay, good. This one has more color to it than the other one. So I'm not gonna scrape this one. I do wish that that gold would have come out more like cells than uh, fingers. Hit this corner here, but I believe I'm gonna stop right here. It may take a little while to dry, but because the paint's thin, I could work with it. So I'm going to get you down for a closer look. And it's gonna be beside the one I did a little bit earlier, okay? So let me get you down for a closer look as I put it on the table that I wanted to dry because I want it to be level, all right? Okay, folks, this is the final wet result. Look at how those colors look so 3D, those cells, and how that copper pops up through that violet. And then the gold comes up like little fingers. But hey, I can deal with that. That's a nice little effect. But it looks like that copper is making that um, violet glow. And against it, that dark background. Oh yeah, this is a very nice piece i'm liking it so this is the colors how i want the gold and the copper to show up but in my earlier piece which is this one same colors but the only the gold and the copper show up in this little corner right here same colors and the base color is a little more blue blue black while this base color had more more of a violet to it but the other colors are the same but that violet and that copper showed off tremendously in this one. And the violet and the teal showed up more so in this one. So there you have it, folks. Two different pieces, same color palette. 
So sometimes these paints are like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. But up next is um, Britta Clayton from Brit Clayton Designs. And this is another episode of Perspectives and Pouring. Have a great night. And once again, I say happy pouring. Bye-bye. Oh,